So much for that. My plan was to straighten that bumper out and uh, possibly just paint it black, but uh, it seems to be a little thin for our purposes. We'll have to retry. So a lot of you are recommending that I get this thing. What is it? It's not a bumper, but it is the cheapest way that I found to mount a winch on the front of a ZJ. So um, it's a winch mounting plate from Rough Country, and it's basically, it goes from here to here, and it sticks out for you to put your bumper, I mean your winch on and you can put the stock bumper back over it. But my plan is to put it on, see what it looks like, and maybe build onto it on the edges to make a bumper. If that doesn't work, I'll do as it's intended and put the stock bumper back on. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, this is the microphone. Hello.
All right, so my camera is not playing nice. I missed some of that, but basically I just trimmed the bumper a little bit more to give me some more ground clearance. So right there, trimmed all that out, trimmed a couple inches off the bottom, did the other side, and I think that's gonna help a lot. What I was really surprised by uh, is how easy um, it is to take this bumper off. The bumper is just made out of plastic and uh, styrofoam from the factory and it just has these clips and I can just pull it off by hand like that so uh, it's kind of strange let me take it off again real quick and I'll show you why I did it this way so here's what it looks like without the plastic bumper and it just seems to be missing something my original intention was to add on to this rough country winch support and kind of make a bumper out here. Now the problem I found with the newer cars and this Grand Cherokee in particular is it's much harder to make a bumper than it is the Cherokee. That's I guess that's why I like the Cherokee and even the Wranglers too. They're just completely flat across the bottom. On this you have this radiator and then when you come over here if you're to make a bumper you have to come up with the bumper and then you have to go around here it's kind of the curved and then the fender flare is built in so there's all this stuff that you have to contend with whereas on the Cherokee you could just put a square piece of steel on there and it would work as a bumper where this one you have all these curves and then you have to come down on the front bottom here and it's possible I could definitely do it but it's really not for the first timer or the do-it-yourselfer or anybody who's on a budget so I decided to just cut that one back up and uh, put it on here like it's supposed to be with that uh, winch plate. So now I'm going to bolt that up. We'll put this back on and then get the winch mounted. Check this out. This clip, ah, this clip right here is the only thing holding that bumper on besides this other clip. So you have that clip, one here, one here, one on the other side. I guess from factory it kind of is held on down here too, but uh, we've got rid of that so um, other than that there's some little clips right here that go on your well actually that's probably to hold their the uh, mud flap thing onto the bumper not the other way around next time I'm at pull apart I need to get one of these because the clips there are broken that hold that light in place so it's constantly like falling out like that. He just shut up because he heard me. 
there is a squirrel. Oh, a freaking squirrel making it a little home up here in my foam. He's just carving them out a little home in there, nice and toasty. Or something, he can just have free rent. Okay, I got the winch hooked up to the battery. I've got it all installed, everything wired. So, should be good to go to test it. Let's see if it works. It works. Okay, so, got it. Winch, check. That looks pretty good. My plan was actually to go with the Harbor Freight winch with the 20% off coupon, but I found this uh, Rough Country winch on eBay for $2.45 shipped, and it was a scratch and dent model, but uh, the only thing that was scratched and dented was the box. So, uh, came out lucky there. The uh, styrofoam was kind of all broken up, but other than that, the winch has no scratches or dents. So, cool. <gasps> oh, ah. The one thing I'm missing is some toe points on the front. The, uh, the winch plate actually comes with that option, but I didn't get that so it has like a little bolt-on option here where it has a little bracket where you can put a d-ring shackle on each side so I'll need to make something to bolt in there the reason it's not permanently attached is because it has to come on and off I guess for the to get the bumper on and off I might end up just making one central one like I've got on the crawler over here Now for the back bumper, it's the same thing as the front. It's really complicated because you have to come across and then go up and then go around and then uh, it's kind of the same thing on the Cherokee but not quite as much as a height difference right there, uh, if at all. I don't, I don't think there is any. But um, instead of putting the stock bumper on the back back here, I really want to try to figure out something different. So I think what I'm going to do is cut some of this stuff off here and the hardest part on these bumpers is figuring out how to tie them in to the unibody. So it's going to have to go in that hole somewhere, and there's some bolts that come up through. Um, but it just makes it so much more difficult uh, on these unibodies to try to figure out how to tie into the frame when uh, there really is no frame. So uh, I'll save that for the next video. Right now, I'm going to try to figure out how to evict Mr. Squirrel over here. Squirrel battle. 